Witam Was ludzie serdecznie. Z tej strony z Survi 604, a my kontynuujemy nasze przygody w Rizem. Dobra, to jest Patty. Now there's a face that needs a drink. Better get this beer down you quick. See if you can bring a smile to it. Thanks. Oh, that's good stuff. Aren't you kind of young to be running a tavern? I wouldn't be behind this damn bar if the white robes hadn't sealed the town. Still, being here is better than being out in the gutter. Or being forced into selling my wares at Sonya's. If I could, I'd have been out of this rat hole long ago. Can I have another beer? Ah, see? I knew you were a man in need of liquid solace. And the beer here is better than most of the hog's piss on the island. This one's on the house. But from now on, you pay for it. Kurde. Why do you want to get out so badly? I'm looking for something. Something valuable to me. What? Can you keep a secret? Sure. Yeah, and so can I. Do you have anything to trade? Kawanie, rum, piwo, ale to chętnie. How do you plan on getting out of the town? No damn idea. No damn idea yet. I did hear there's a secret way out of the town. The Don uses it to get around the Inquisition. No idea if it's true. There's so much bloody talk in this place. It might be gossip, but what do they say about the secret way out of town? Artifacts keep going missing, so someone's smuggling them out. The Inquisition won't let ships leave the harbor, and they guard both gates. So the smugglers must have found a third way those damn white robes don't know about. Sounds like you could be right. Do you know any of these artifact smugglers? I bet this tavern that the Don's men are behind it. They usually are, but maybe that's just talk too. You must know someone who deals in artifacts. Ask that guy over there. His name is Diter. Been trying to sell his special merchandise for days. No luck, poor sod. You've got me curious. What is it you're looking for? Right, Terrier, aren't you? Well, don't get too excited. It's nothing you can sell. I need to find my father. Really? He went missing in the storms. His name's Gregorius. He's a sailor. I heard he was here. That's why I came. But I got stranded by the storms. Then the owner of this place was killed. Got sent into the ruins by the Inquisition. So I took this place over. Haven't found a trace of my father, though. He must be somewhere outside the town. I'll help you get out of town. Better men than you have told me the same thing. But their price for help wasn't one I was going to pay. Maybe you're different from the others. Maybe you're the same. But if you hear something, if you know something, I'll treat you fair. But there are things I won't do. I'll help you to find your father, Gregorius. And why would you want to do that? Sorry, not used to getting offers of help. If you find anything out, I'd be grateful. I don't know if you know Captain Romanov. I heard he came here, and that he's still on the island somewhere. Romanov is also a man of the sea. He and my father have crossed paths a few times. If anyone knows something about my father, it's going to be him. Is it all? It's Strażnik, strażnik, o, pan pijak. Co jest tam pijana? No, no, ktoś jest? Nie, dobra. Hej, are you in the market for valuable artifacts? What is this artifact? A golden bowl. It's sort of gold. And bowl shaped. I want 150 gold coins for it. 150? Right. Here is your gold. Give me the bowl. Here you go. Just keep quiet about where you got it. Who are you? You interested or not? To the point, aren't you? No point wasting words. No. No. So. So? So, are you interested? 
Where did this artifact come from? Let's just say me and my two brothers acquired it, eh? Acquired it? Right. Where are your brothers? They're around. Stop bothering me. Ask someone else. Maybe later. All right? Town will be safe for a while. Ah, you don't just want to run into Manchester. Nope. Could it be dangerous to us? Stay near Mom's apartment. Nie ma celiusz. Tutaj też nic. Dobra, tu jest celą na mykne. Pojownica konu. Ogr. Ktoś tu siedzi? O, otwarte. O! What are you looking for? Ty po ludzku go wyglądasz? O kurde. Też nic. Nikt lub nikt nic. Już jest, już jest. You should go away. Halt! No one can enter this warehouse. Everything alright, big guy? Everything is alright. I'm looking for training. Ukos can train you. Train you in strength. Train you with an axe. I must ask for a little gold against my honor. But Ukos needs gold for the butcher shop. Okay. I'd like to train. I want to be stronger. That is good. Dobra. A. Musiałem po to. Dobra. Ale za to mogę używać buławy. Jak ona wygląda? Put ją good. Okej. Nauczyciel siły jednym nożowy. Tak jestem rudy, muszę go zadać. A nie, lukor. Hej! Wait! Not here! Huh? We talk here, Carrasco will listen. He doesn't have to know everything. Let's go somewhere else. Eh? Nie kupię popa. Nie, słaby mięczu. Gdzie ty leżesz? Do you have a problem with Carrasco? Well, let's see. All those temples turn up and we're thinking, hurrah, the gods have finally smiled on us. Then the Inquisition arrive, take over our island and start claiming all the treasure belongs to them. How would you feel? But do you have a particular problem with Carrasco? He's the worst of them. Claims I've been stealing. Even had me searched. But he's never found anything. It's an outrage. An outrage, I tell you. I'm looking for work. You could lug crates. But you have to talk to Carrasco. But you don't look like the crate-lugging kind of guy. What do I look like? Like someone who will willingly take greater risks for greater profits. So you don't think stealing is an outrage? Taking from the orders, not stealing. It's our duty. I'll pay a few lads to liberate items from the warehouse. I'm damned if I'm letting the Inquisition get all the treasure. But those lads have run up tabs to pay. They've bedded too many wenches. They're getting greedy. And I won't have that. Which lads are causing trouble? There's Durham. He's a worker from the harbour. Who else? Ingvar and Vasily. Neither of them has a proper job, so they're just work for hire. Most of the time they can be found in Patty's tavern. Fine woman she is. How exactly have they got greedy? They stole five ancient armor plates that were found in the ruins. Can this armor be used? You mean to improve your own armor? Yes. They're more ceremonial than practical, but they're still very valuable. What do you want doing with these lads? How should I handle it? Any way you like. They've crossed me for the last time. Do what you have to do. Just get me those armor plates back. And don't let them fall into Carrasco's hands. What's in it for me, if I help? 
You can have the gold I offered them. 50 gold pieces for each plate. Five plates, that's 250 all in. 250 is a good price. You won't get that much coin faster and easier anywhere else. I want 400. Yeah, and I want Patty to roll naked in a bath of warm oil with me. But it ain't gonna happen. Your boys wanted twice that much. That'd be 500. I'll take 400. I earn, and that way you still come out ahead. Unfortunately, um, you have a point. All right, I'll pay 400. But only if you make sure those greedy asses stick to our agreement in the future. Okay. I'll retrieve the armor plates. That's the spirit. I'm here if you've got any more questions. Marcel, tu siedzisz? Oh, Luca sent me. That old sod. He's worse than my wife. He says you're not sticking to your agreement with him. And Vasily says if we all want our gold, we mustn't agree to anything else. So, I need 100 gold pieces for the armor plate. <sighs> I'll pay you for the armor plate. Have it. I need the gold. To spend on drink? It's better than giving it to the wife. Nagging old shrew. Tilda. You know what that's short for, don't you? Till dawn, till dusk. Because that's how long she nags me. Oh. I need some rest. Nope. Nope. Stop bothering me. Nope. Oh. Luca sent me. Really? Did he give you my gold? Two hundred gold pieces, and you can have the plates. Cause I don't know. 200 gold pieces is too much. So that's the way the wind blows. You're helping him. Let me tell you how we're going to do this. You pay me my price or you don't get the artifact. Your choice. I would just If you're asking for a fight, you can have one. Others have tried. All right then, you bastard. No, it's getting good. Ah! Oh! To jest poka ta pała. Kurde. No chodź, no chodź. That was fun. A pretty decent fight. I hope someone stabs you right through those damn plates. Patty is looking for her father. Ha! <laughs> Show me someone who isn't looking for Captain Gregorius Steelbeard. I'll tell you what I tell anyone. He was here a long time ago. But where he is now, I don't know. So Gregorius Steelbeard is a captain. Most famous one I know of. I'm surprised you hadn't heard of him. But I wouldn't ask too many questions if I was you. You're not me. I don't know what Patty told you, but she's the daughter to one of the most infamous pirates in these waters. And there's plenty had cut your throat if they thought you knew anything about him and his whereabouts. What else do you know about Steelbeard? Only rumors. Ericsson says Steelbeard has a shack in the town, but I don't believe it. If Ericsson really knew where Steelbeard's shack was, he'd have plundered it and be leagues from here by now. Instead, I only ever see him hanging around Sonya's brothel.
Why do you think Ericsson's interested in Steelbeard's shack? Ha! The house of a famous pirate captain who terrorized the seas and amassed inconceivable riches. Show me someone who wouldn't love to poke around in that house. Stop bothering me. Tak, do kogo jeszcze? Ara George. Proszę. Zapraszam Rodrigo. Patrz sobie się. Nie ma po wyspie. Chcę pić. Pancerz. Kto je ma? I brami, brami. Duram plesu, tu jest w porcie. Aha, dura mam już z nią. Łaś i szukaj człowieka. Boż. Ty, o, duram. Hej, you knew. How are things going here? Mm, not good. Not good. These storms ain't budging. So you're a sailor? Fisherman. Though there ain't no fish out there that make me want to brave these storms. So right now, I'm lugging crates. Doesn't pay much, but it's a great deal safer. I hear you've got some artifacts. Yeah. Oh, Luca sent you, right? Look, I am sick and tired of lying in that bastard's pockets by doing his dirty work. I want payment. A decent payment or you can both piss off 200 gold pieces should do it Dobra, masz. all right I'll buy your armor plates well I don't have them on me behind the warehouse up the stairs is a room plates are in a seaman's chest in there here's the key uh, yeah Oto. Dobra, spróbuję tu najpierw. Tu, dobra. O, jeszcze. 428 monet zarobiłem. Piłem. This lock is too difficult. Kurde. Się nauczę otwieranie. Następnej kolejności. Here are your armor plates. Excellent. Hope the lads didn't kick up too much of a fuss. Here's your gold and 150 extra as agreed. Can't help you, I'm afraid. Dobra. Ty mi ci miem? I stop right there if I were you. You ain't going any further. What's the problem? The order runs this warehouse now. So what? So they don't want anyone wandering in uninvited. Wandering uninvited types tend to wander out again with stuff that ain't theirs. Eh, uh, Polutku? What sort of trouble? Artifact smuggling. It's bad enough these artifacts have been stolen in the ruins. You'd think they'd be safe in town in a warehouse, but there are thieves everywhere, trying to undermine the order. Can I help? Well, the latest things to go missing were three golden bolts. The Inquisitor was not impressed. I could do with getting those back. And I need to get hold of some armor plates that walked out of the warehouse a few days ago. You won't be getting those plates back. That damn Luca thinks he can do whatever he wants. Apparently so. One day, that rabble will learn the error of their ways. Where did the golden balls come from? An illegal excavation at an old temple, outside the town. Since we heard about that, talk says someone's been trying to sell three golden balls on the black market. Idiots. To resist the order is crazy. We're driven by a greater force, a higher purpose. Hmm. Hey. Hey yourself. If you like what you see, you're gonna have to pay Madame Sonia first. Until then, seeing is all you get. Fair enough. 
Who is Madame Sonia? I didn't think I'd meet someone around here who didn't know Madame Sonia. She's my boss. Owns the brothel on the Western Harbour Quay. I see. Yes? What do you want? Do these ships really need guarding? Ships? No. Cargo, yes. And while these ships are stuck here, it's the Inquisition's duty to protect them. So here I am. Have you caught people trying to steal from the ships? There are those stupid enough to try, but nothing escapes my eagle eyes. Nothing. Of course not. Don't mock. You don't want to end up like our prisoner in the Harbour Key Jail, do you? What did the prisoner in the jail do? Captain Romanoff is a pirate. Was a pirate. Now he's just another prisoner. We caught him smuggling goods from the mainland for the Don. Of course, Romanov's not the sort to pay for goods. He plundered, burned, and killed his way across the coast. Until the Inquisitor caught up with him. You see? Law and order. Safety. The Don is gone. And soon we'll find the gold Romanov was paid by him. Until he tells us where that is hidden, he'll rot in his cell. You're a warrior of the order. Your keen intellect tell you that. Your armor did. Yes. I am a warrior of the Order of the Holy Flame. That's a big title for a guard. How did you become a warrior of the Order? The Inquisitor himself chose me. He took me to the monastery for training. So you were forced into service? No. The service found me and I found the service. I wish more people would sign up. Do their duty. Every man must find their calling. Maybe I can get Romanov to talk. Ha! Why would he tell you where he's hidden it? We'll find it. The gold can't be far, and there are only so many places to hide it. I'll find Romanov's gold. How? We've been trying for days without success. But... If you did manage to find it, you would of course be rewarded. I'd need to be. Okay. Hey you! What are you oh, doing Marek. hanging around here? Nothing here of interest for passers-by. I didn't know it was out of bounds. Ha! Why do you think I'm guarding it? What is it you're guarding? We've got a VIP in there. Captain Romanov is in that cell. You must have heard of him. Scourge of the High Seas. So? Where have you been? He terrorized most of the islands round here. Did Romanov work alone? What happened to his crew? With the storms out to sea, they'll be laying low in the town, hiding from the Inquisition. Why didn't the Order take Romanov to the monastery like all the others? I haven't the foggiest. The white robes don't tell people, but I like it that way. The less I know, the more I can keep my head down. Can I talk to Romanov? You can, but he won't hear, because he's in the cell and you're staying out here. And the key to his cell is staying in my pocket. Got that? I'll compensate you, if you allow me to have a little chat. No, lad. It doesn't work like that. Keep your gold. So, what do you want to let me in? All the other town guards are having a great time in the tavern or at Sonia's. The island's falling apart while they party. But I'm not allowed to leave my post. I've been here for days. Wet, cold, knackered. Romanov may be important, but he's not going anywhere. The only person to give me the time of day is you. And you're not exactly a sight for sore eyes. But well, I mean, if one of Sonia's girls came up here, then, hey, the two of us could make a bit of a party. Tell you what, I'll send one of Sonya's girls over. In return, you let me talk to Romanov. Hmm, well... Yep, it's a deal. <laughs> Be quick, though. Oh, and don't bring a girl with a face like a smashed crab, or the deal's off. 
Pieno super Robię za Alfonsa Moment Chcę jeszcze z nim pogadać? Czy tych nic nie chcę? Ask someone else Nie Dobra Eee, gdzie ten jebony mny burdel? Ktoś jest? Ty mi cimie? Oficer I'm not listening. Oficer z karbem. This lock is too difficult. Eee, dobra. Tam byłem. Tu, tu, tu nie byłem. O, Rodrigo. There's a hungry lock. But if you want me, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. Not a plum job. But when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Oh no, that's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it, though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts. Likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well, you just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. How do you know, Sid? I was one of the Don's men. It's not something I'm proud of, but he's a charismatic man. He can be very persuasive. Then I realized he doesn't care about the future of this island. He just cares about his own selfish gains. Now, I fight alongside Inquisitor Mendoza. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the Order. But I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. What about you? It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your aid. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Mm, okay, I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him, even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses, in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson the cartographer, Flavio the fur dealer, and Baxter the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. Okay. Up to me. About Sid's spy. Have you talked to him? Not. Well, I. Take off some of him. Flavio, the fur dealer. Up in the gutters. It. Jing over. Next to the. He. Aha. Pogrzeźni. Oh, faktycznie. Just a moment. If I take three at 25 plus 18 hams, that's... I can't do this with you staring at me. You're doing the accounts? I keep the books for the butcher's shop. There's a skill. You think calculating's easy? There's not many around here can do it. I can. Really? Duck. You want to test me? Yes. What's 14 times 17? <laughs> Two hundred and thirty-eight. Very good. A man should value the weapons of the mind. About the break-in. Yeah, come here. What was stolen? What else? Gold, of course. The gold belongs to the Order. Now, it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much. I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed a theft.
Who was in the house on the day of the break-in? Well, Doyle tried to sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fatto Fasili brought beer. I paid for that, traded him a few pieces of meat. And of course, Mo was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here after all. Doyle Fasil Mo. Zakonnik, szczanka, rolnik, toszczał. To jest madam? Nie, Lili. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets, and there's no better place to dig into them than Madam Sonia's house of pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes, and the girls there are talented, flexible, and lice free. Good to know. Okay. Zakonnik... Farming zakonu... Zakonnik... Stary jest? Nie skacz. Well, my lad. What can old Jack do for you? You're Jack. That I am. Jack the sailor, then Jack the lighthouse keeper. Now Jack the old beachcomber. Seems the sea won't let me go. So you're no longer the lighthouse keeper? Was, my boy, was. The tower's not in use, nor am I. No more ships going out, you see. The storms put pay to the ships, and the town's short of fuel. No use burning things when there are no ships to see it, eh? You uh, wouldn't have a tot of rum to ease my aches, would you? What's the thing, Mom? Here, have a little rum. Spend too long by the sea and it rots you. Your knees go, your back, your front, your everything. Everything falls apart. Towers, men, religions, the sea always wins. Remember that, lad. Let's trade. So much. I'll have to pick this or find the key. Just leave me alone. What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up. Licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. And then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. Ooh, nie wybaczam. I'll take care of him. Really? You do that? I'd give the last of my savings to someone who'd make sure he never goes near Madame Sonia's again. Be careful. He's a vindictive bastard. Thanks for the warning. Is Ericsson one of the Don's men? Ha! The Don's men are gentlemen compared to him. He comes right out of the town cesspit. Then I'll make sure I stay upwind of him. Okay. Kierchel. What's your problem? Wypad. Had a few, have you? Weird. You're missing the tits, so you can't be me mother. Do us both a favor and go screw yourself. You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. Ah! Swabe! Yeah! Huh? Ah. Someone's for it. Hey. What the? Kluczek. <sighs> All right. What do you want? Do you know where Captain Steelbeard's shack is? You don't know what you're getting into. If you keep on like this, you're a dead man walking. You're gonna tell me where Steelbeard's shack is. You're gonna tell me now. All right, all right. In the gutters. It's in the gutters. 
It's one of those shacks near Costa's hotel. Now that's it. I've said enough. Too much. And that key you had fits the front door. I've said too much. I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Poor lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. Thank you. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days I'll be back on that bench again. Staring, licking, gesturing. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry, I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks. You too. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. What can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If Bye you can't them. find it here, it's not worth having. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a way off my mind and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. <laughs> I'd like to hire the services of one of your girls. For the cell guard on the harbor key. Harbor key, you say? Hmm. Take Annika. She normally works that area. Though she may not want to go with your cell guard friend. And that's her choice. Annika, got it. At the harbor key. Thanks. Do you also sell information? If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins, then ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. How does that deal work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on around here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? Hello? I do. I'm all... Is there anyone here who can teach me some skills? Well, all my girls are very talented. Oh, you mean combat. I think Cole up in the gutters is a hunter. He'll know about bows. I can't think of anyone else. Where can I find work here? Honest work? Not a lot of that to be had around here. Only person I can think of is the mage. Belshaw. He's a good soul. He has his hands full caring for the poor devils up in the gutters. If I wanted work that wasn't going to cause me trouble with one side or the other, that's who I'd ask. Tell me something about Don Esteban's gang. That doesn't sound like a question to me. Give me something to work with, sweetie. Here's your gold back. Let's try again, shall we? Okay. So how strong is the Don's influence in this town? It's not what it used to be, that's for sure. Not since the Inquisition pushed them out into the swamps. Most of the Don's men won't risk coming back either, even for one of my girls. I'm sure Esteban will strike back, though. He's too proud not to. Who are the influential people? Who should I know? <laughs> well, there are plenty who think they are. You can't move for loudmouths and big heads round here. But the only one who really pulls the strings is Commandant Carlos. Most of the time he's in the guardhouse above the merchant quarter. He could do a lot worse than allying with his fighters, that's for sure. What exactly does the Inquisition want with Harbour Town? They're after the gold artifacts. Crazy for them they are. No idea what they do with them. All I know is everything they gather they take up to the monastery. Why are there so many golden artifacts in this town? They've been mostly brought in by the farmers. The artifacts turned up at the same time as those ruins. They just popped up, practically overnight. But you can't eat gold, so most artifacts have been traded. Until the Inquisition claimed that all artifacts must be handed over to them, without any compensation. They came down hard on artifact smugglers too. 
Most got thrown into the monastery, if they were lucky. So who does smuggle artifacts here in the town? Sorry, sweetie, that one's too hot for me to handle. All I can tell you is that Esteban seems as obsessed with the artifacts as the Inquisitor is. And there are spies everywhere, on both sides. So I won't get myself burned with a question like that. Ask me again when the dust has settled in this place. Okay. Można nas zakończyć, okay. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend to me? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. I can tell you're hungry for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. It's just Madame Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. Uh, I paid Sonia for your services. I understand what a man wants. You're an explorer, am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continents, lover. Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I see many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No, I have business to take care of. Pity, but something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell, so use it wisely. Thank you, Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it. What? Don't just stand around. Aha. Be off with you. Chyba przygoda. Nie w tym patiku. Płacisz masz. Płacisz masz. Płacisz masz. A tu raz. Amstwo. Dobra. 